meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, it looks like we're going to see rain chances staying somewhat depressed over the next couple of days. That means more sunshine and more heat as well. But we have been short on that heat this year. In fact, got the graphic up there. Let's take a look at this. Uh, we have not seen 90 degrees yet in Lafayette. Normally the mean is somewhere around May 13th that we hit 90 degrees, but we've had such a wet April and a wet May that our temperatures have been depressed during the day. Not so much at night. In fact, at night we've been near normal or slightly above normal and we're five degrees above normal last couple of days. But uh, these are the latest dates that we've uh, hit 90 degrees, the latest being June 17th. So we're sitting fourth on the list. 2009 recently, that was June 9th. So if we make it to the 9th, we'll, we'll be tied for at least third. So we'll see how it goes. I think we're going to see 90 degrees before uh, the week is done or the week weekend for sure. Earliest we've seen 90 March 5th back in 1910. Thought that was interesting. Like to go through the stats every now and then because it's been kind of a weird spring, a wet one and not quite so hot, but that is changing as our upper level low is beginning to move out. That produced some nasty storms across Texas and the northern part of the state. Those storms are pushing off for the most part into Mississippi and just lingering sprinkles across the area. Strongest storms pretty much out of Avoyles Parish moving into southwestern Mississippi. We're still seeing some patchy light rain from Simsport down through the Palmetto area and a few other sprinkles back to the southwest as we get into Southern Evangeline Parish by Iota and the Eunice area. Some sprinkles just to the west, but overall it should be a quiet night for the rest of the night. And that's reflected in our models as high pressure tries to build in again tomorrow. We'll start off mostly cloudy sun and cloud mix models not indicating much more than maybe a 20% chance of a pop up shower. You don't even see much green showing up here. Maybe Maybe a late afternoon or early evening storm across Senlon, northern portions of Acadiana. So that's always in the mix. That's why we got to carry that 20% for tomorrow. And Wednesday, we do it again, but we're going to see more energy coming at us from aloft. Uh, so we will see a scattering of showers and some thunderstorms in the afternoon, maybe into the evening hours as well as that frontal trough pushes on through. And behind it should be a little bit drier. So rain chances back down to 10 to 20% for your Thursday. You can see those storms kind of barreling across the state. State. There's the upper low that's associated with it. As we take a look at the tropics, not a whole lot going on, but getting a little bit more interesting because the models are telling us so. Uh, we do have this monsoonal trough that goes out into the Atlantic that, that extends to a, a gyre of weak low pressure down here in Central America. Very typical uh, this time of year, but the Hurricane Center paying attention to it, and they actually have raised their chance of development sometime into this weekend at about 30%, but there's nothing out there. There's going to be this tropical wave kind of mixing with this broad gyre across uh, Central America and we could see development out here in the Pacific and we'll be watching the moisture here by the Yucatan as that could slip northward with time. But this time of year, the models get confused and sometimes they think something's going to be in the Gulf when it's actually something in the Pacific. But nonetheless, Tropical Storm Cristobal came in the first week or two of June last year. It was just a tropical storm, so we'll watch it, but no reason to worry at this time. Temperatures tonight upper 70s once again, then tomorrow upper 80s. That heat index up there in the mid to upper 90s, and we do it all over again going into Wednesday, upper 70s to start, and then upper 80s for a high, and that heat index quite uncomfortable, and get used to it is only early June. Got plenty ahead of us in the months ahead. So uh, 77 the low tonight uh, with those uh, showers diminishing, then for tomorrow. 88 the high settling into a real typical pattern with a few pop up showers. Breezy south winds again tomorrow like today uh, at 12 to 18. There's the enhanced rain chance Wednesday, but down to 10 20 percent. We think for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, better chance of rain again on Sunday and so far so good. No major changes as we go into next week as well.